Hi, my name is Lexi Faulkner, and my presentation is going to be on Apollo. So, who was Apollo? Apollo was recognized by both the Greek and Roman cultures, and is one of the few gods that has the same name in both cultures. In the Roman culture, he is known as the god of healing and prophecy, and he is also recognized as the god of the sun. He is the son of Jupiter and Latona, and is the twin of Diana, who is known as the goddess of hunting. She can also be compared to the Greek goddess Artemis. So what was Apollo's influence on Roman culture? He was originally a Greek god, but was then absorbed into the Roman pantheon. Apollo played a vital role in the revival of an archaic, archaistic art style based on that of the archaic period of ancient Greece, because he was one of the first examples of Augustus's use of Ro Roman archaism. One example of this is the Temple of Apollo on the Palatine. Augustus considered Apollo to be an ancestor and used him as a way to rally support during the Battle of Octium in 31 BC. So when the Romans conquered other cultures, they prevented uprising by, the, by identifying with the gods of particular regions, done by the processes referred to as the Interpretation Romana. This was the specific appropriation of Greek mythology by the Romans and is useful in understanding the process of Apollo integrating into the Roman pantheon. Rather than linking Apollo to a pre-existing Roman deity, the Romans adopted him. And as a result of this absorption, there became a major focus on him as well as the depictions of him. Although they were built on Greek styles, they were adapted to make them specifically Roman. Augustus was Julius Caesar's adoptive son, which would cause him to consider himself a descendant of Venus. He also considered himself to be a descendant of Apollo, but was not the only political figure who would compare themselves to a god and grant themselves the title of divine protector and favor. After the murder of Caesar, many other contestants tried to identify themselves as gods and heroes. The Battle of Octium would later show how and why many political figures used this tactic and identified with these gods during war. In the Battle of Octium, Octavian, now known as Augustus, acted the role of Apollo, the defender and righteous protector. And Mark Antony played the role of Hercules, who he also traced his family lineage to. This helped Augustus gain support from his troops, and then two political rivals associated themselves with, God, with gods and heroes, depicting the fight between Apollo and Hercules, such as the fight over Apollo's tripod. The Temple of Apollo on Palatine commemorated the victory at the Battle of Octium, as it was considered the turning point in the history of Rome from a republic to an empire. This temple was not only an example of Augustan architecture that embodied the archaic and archaistic elements, it was built to thank Apollo for his assistance in victory at the Battle of Octium and his protection over Augustus. The temple was mo mostly made of marble with gold and ivory decorating the doors and ornaments on the roof made of terracotta. Figures of Apollo and Hercules are also on display and a stance that makes them look as if they were posing rather than moving, like the tiptoe stance. This is popular among the Roman culture. So thank you guys for listening. I included three images. The first one is of the Temple of Apollo on Palatine. The second is a statue or figure of Apollo, and he's in the tiptoe stance as described before. And the last image is the Battle of Octium. And then these are the sources. And thank you for listening.